Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com so you're sure to get the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques for everything related to Excel dashboards. Okay, uh, today had a user uh, that was in a forum and uh, had this data layout that you see here. Project name, provider, and spend. And you can see uh, each one of the project names have a corresponding provider that may be duplicated. And so you got burgers, fast food, hot dogs, fast food, carrots, cabbage, onions are all vegetables. And he wanted to have you horizontal or x axis have the provider information. So the fruit, the fast food, the confectionery, vegetable, carbohydrates to be on the horizontal axis. And then he wanted these labels to show up on a stacked column chart that showed the uh, uh, project name. So wanted to know how he could do it. And so if you come in here and you highlight this range, well, let me highlight that range again, go up to your insert ribbon, go to the column chart and do a stacked column chart. Uh, you'll see that it, it doesn't really do what he was looking to do. Uh, uh, it's going to put the apple burger and everything down here on the bottom. Uh, and so not quite what he wanted to do. But let's let's change the data. Let me uh, insert a column here. And let me uh, rearrange this data. I'm just going to cut and paste this information uh, in a different way. Let's see if we rearrange it, if that will actually create our charts. We're going to go up to the Insert menu, go to Column. We're going to do a stacked column chart. Uh, so let's take a look at this one. Um, it is sort of grouping them into fruits and fast food, but not really. Uh, we can probably delete some of these things and get fast food. We can delete these and get vegetables. So you can see fruit, uh, hot dogs, but he wanted them stacked. He didn't want fast foods grouped this way. He wanted burgers and hot dogs on top of each other. So not getting what we needed where we wanted a burger and hot dog labels stacked on top of fast food. So uh, this user was wondering, how do I go about charting this? I don't understand. Really getting frustrated. Well, here's kind of the trick and technique. So we've got this standard data here. What you want to do is you want to rearrange it. So check out this uh, rearrangement here. We've actually got each row. So fruit, uh, we've got the spend here, and there's apples. We've got the fast food, and there's the burgers and hot dogs on a different row. Confectionery is on a different row. Vegetables are on a different row right there with their corresponding column names. You can see there's all the vegetables. They're always on a separate row. If you come in here and you highlight this range, Go up to your insert ribbon, go up to the columns button, do a stacked column chart. Uh, you can see, let's uh, take a look at this here. You can see that it's uh, not doing quite what we want. Um, but what we want to do is we want to switch the rows and columns. So if we go up to our design ribbon, there is a button here that says switch row and columns. Once we do that, they'll actually be stacked on top of each other, and it'll get us the data in the way in which we want it. So uh, one quick, easy way to do it is to go ahead and just uh, uh, change the way you have your data set up. Uh, now, to get the labels on here, we don't want them over in the legend. You can click on the legend, hit your delete key. You can go over then and click anywhere in your chart, go up to your layout ribbon, go to your data labels, and we're going to do center. Now you can see what this is doing is putting the value in here. We actually wanted the series names that we saw over in the legend. So click on any one of these and hit format data labels in the pop-up menu. And uh, then if we go to the format data labels dialog box, we want to choose series name and value. We want to uncheck that. And uh, if we move this over, look at that, you'll see it's changed to hot dog. So let's keep this dialog box open. Don't hit close. I'm just going to keep clicking on labels and click on series name and then uncheck values. You can see now we've got burgers, we've got apples. Let's uh, keep doing that. We can change confectionery, series name, value. Uh, let's move this a little closer. Uh, uncheck values, click on series name. There's garlic. And uh, so as I was doing this, uh, um, as I do on my uh, blog post, 
I will post these questions uh, during the week, and then I'll see if any of our users have other ideas or how would you go about solving this. So this is answering that question. But I did have one user that sent me an awesome way to do this. I just I just don't normally think about this, and uh, so you can see we've gone ahead and changed all the values. We have the chart that the person was looking for, uh, but check this out. This is what the person did, and I think it was so awesome. Uh, he's got this data here that he found on my blog. He went over to another spreadsheet, and uh, I'm just pasting it so that we can see it all on one tab. Uh, but he highlighted this information, and he went up to his insert ribbon. And uh, I do this, actually, it's, uh, there it is, pivot table. I normally do this with just keystrokes, and he wanted to create a pivot table. And so we're going to create a pivot table out of that range. And then it uh, puts it in a new worksheet here, but... Um, what we're going to do is we're going to click on project name and we are going to put project name in the columns. We're going to drag provider into the row labels. We're going to drag spend into the values. And then if I click in here, uh, look at this. It's actually set up our data uh, similar to the way we wanted it. We've got our provider over here. Uh, we have fruits. It's got its own. Vegetables is on its own row. Uh, Rosemary's on its own row, and fast food where you saw burgers and hot dog are on its own rows. Now if I click anywhere in here and uh, go up to my insert ribbon, um, I can just go ahead and do my column chart and do a stacked column chart, and it's going to create a pivot chart for me right off the bat based on how the data is already set up. And even though they're right not next to each other, see fast food, hot dogs, and uh, uh, what was it? Uh, burgers are stacked there, and then you can go through and go to your layout ribbon, go to your data labels, do center. If we just click in the whole chart, we'll get our data labels everywhere. Uh, then you can go forward and hit Control One, series name values, and uh, replace all of those as well. So what an easy way instead of uh, how I copy and pasted all that different data into that uh, set format where we have the information by row. Uh, Jake, thank you Jake for sending me your spreadsheet so I could kind of see how you were doing that as well. Uh, that the pivot tables are just so easy because it's going to set up your chart in the way that you want it with your data the way you want it. You know, you may even want to uh, just do the pivot table, even if you're not going to keep it in a pivot table, just to line up your data and quickly create your chart data range so that you do not have to uh, uh, go forth and copy and paste and copy and paste like I had to do and move everything in the right order. Oops, looks like I missed one there. Data label center and there's rosemary. Okay, so uh, you can see how you can quickly create one of those charts, uh, getting exactly what the user ordered uh, as uh, we showed back here on the first column. Um, so that's a way to take that original data, move it into a stacked column chart. I recommend that pivot chart. Uh, it was really slick and easy to rearrange your data. Uh, and so as we showed over here, you ultimately want to rearrange your data to be in rows with your columns as your other categories. Uh, so these are what are going to be your series and the left hand side is going to be our horizontal axis. So hopefully this is helpful in creating your own dashboard templates. Please let me know uh, what you thought in the comments. Also uh, don't forget to subscribe to my video channel and also visit my blog at excel-dashboardtemplates.com so that you can see other great posts like this and uh, see next week's challenge. Thank you.